Okay, this is a um, a <clears throat> power supply and uh, out amplifier for a Westinghouse columnaire 101 grandfather clock radio from about 19 uh, maybe 1932. Uh, <clears throat> it's really heavy and uh, it has um, these huge potted uh, transformers, uh, chokes, etc. There's these round. Um, I believe these are these are either uh, maybe early electrolytic capacitors or paper capacitors. I'm not really sure. Uh, this little shelf here is where the tubes go, and um, that was done like that uh, in order to keep the tubes vertical. So um, because when the filaments get hot, uh, the filaments could sag, and um, by putting this little shelf on here, it keeps the tubes vertical in a vertical position, so that uh, that won't happen. Um, I've never seen so many wires in all my life. Um, uh, here's the power switch. Uh, some of these wires would go to the RF chassis. Um, which I believe uses maybe six or seven, six or seven radio tubes. Um, uh, some of the wires might go to the clock, for, uh, the motor in the in the clock, possibly. I don't know what uh, happened to the the clock uh, cabinet that this came out of, and it's. Too bad, but I might try and build something, uh, something similar. A very tall, um, maybe, maybe five or six foot tall skyscraper uh, um, Art Deco kind of clock radio sort of thing. I have some ideas for that. And um, okay. Big mess of um, wires here. Uh, uh, these these are the um, capacitors here. Um, I think this is some kind of um, early wire wound resistor, maybe. I think these, um, this is the cable that goes to the RF chassis, and these are for the different filaments and uh, B. Plus.
So it would be nice to get this working one day and uh, replace any of the the um, bad capacitors and wiring and and uh, build a very tall uh, skyscraper clock radio. I think that'd be just really cool. So anyways.